the streets of New Mombasa prepared for an attack from the Covenant. Would you look at this? It's the ODST Ambush. One of my top five sets of all time, particularly for the price point and the figures included. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to another nostalgic review with the domain. The ODST Ambush. It came out in spring of 2011. This was now the third year, the start of the third year of Mega producing Halo Mega Block sets. In the previous episodes, we've looked at lots of different products from 2009 and 10, and this is the first one we're looking at that leads into 2011. And you can clearly see that there is a big step up in many, many different ways, particularly the molding of the figures. In this set, we have two gorgeous characters, and these are pure nostalgia for me. This, uh, probably 2011 was when I really ramped up my collecting of Halo Mega. I remember when this ODST uh, ambush came out, I probably bought 10 at the time, because, you know, just look at it. If you've been collecting these uh, figures for two years and then an ODST and a jump pack brute come out in the same set with a suppressed SMG and a spike grenade, I mean, come on, you just have to pick those up. We'll start with this ODST. He's one of my favorites and he really stands the test of time, even against new articulation. When new articulation ODSTs came in, they changed the helmet slightly where they removed this little snub piece at the front. I don't know, I felt like they were always incomplete from that point onwards. I really like the helmet design of this ODST. The suppressed SMG is in pure black and we've had it remold recently with an attachable uh, suppression, which is pretty cool. But look at that camo. Have you seen camo like that on any uh, Mega Bloks figure up until this point? No, you have not. And I don't think they ever did it as good as this. These camos are awesome. Black, two different colors of gray working perfectly in harmony with each other. That cyan blue on the helmet and the visor, but the visor being a metallic version, it's gorgeous, man. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. This ODST does not come with a backpack, but it is labeled as an ODST Urban Specialist. So that's a cool touch. The SMG can easily be attached into his back, of course. He's just, he's one of my favorites, man. Like, he just, he'll go down in history. One of my absolute favorite ODSTs. I have so many of this ODST, let me tell you, so many. The fact that you can position it in a new Mombasa diorama, like, it's so sad that we've got so many NMPD sets, but this is the only new Mombasa. Apart from, I guess, the NMPD Pelican Air Base, this is the only diorama that we've got of New Mombasa. Mega, we need more, please. And look at this jump pack brute. He comes with a spiker, which was introduced last year, but this spike grenade uh, stole the show when it first came out. It's a soft plastic, so it is liable to bending uh, a little poorly. The blacks and the silvers are really nice. And like getting a painted weapon or accessory in a cheap set like this is pretty rare. So I think it was praised unanimously at the time. The brute in general, some of the best printed detailing we've ever got on a figure. Just both of these figures really, really stepped it up. Sometimes the joints can be a bit stiff after all these years, but how many colors can you count there, man? Just the jump pack to begin with, great new mold, silvers and dark blues, and then dark blue, brown, light brown, silvers, grays, and the white eyes. I always loved those white brute eyes. Really phenomenal figure. Like, I, I'm so impressed with this guy. And just all those printed colors. Uh, it's just so beloved. You can tell in my voice. I, I just love this figure. I love this set so much. My top five sets, and the fact that you can insert this rod into his jump pack and have him flying through the air actually like super realistically because you can have him like at an angle it just makes the set so wonderful just uh really the playability of this one is exceptional and mega really do need to bring back uh dioramas and bases to collect and build. And this thing, while very barren, it does the job really nicely. We got some sticker detailing on UNSC Recruitment Center and two on the computer terminal. These gray bricks, they've got speckled camo effects throughout them. The base plate is uh, not compatible with any other mega blocks. It has to just be the base plate, but it has silvers, blacks, and this uh, sort of camo-y silvery gray on the top. And look at these rods as well. These just insert through. I, I think these were probably from like a Mega Bloks pirate line back in the day. They go through this rubble and give just the wildest effect to it. And there's a lot of different ways you can do that as well. This is supported by two beams with stick detailing and bullet holes, giving a more realistic effect to it. The fact that this entire recruitment center was blown up, but the computer still survived is a gosh miracle, but I really respect it. It's just a fantastic base, man. Like, and I, and the uh, ODST, the computer terminals are such a massive part of that game that it is just right that they were paid tribute to in this Mega Bloks set. And uh, yeah, it's just, just mega 
Sega nailed it with this one. They absolutely nailed it. Like, the, you can't get much better than this. Let me know in the comments down below if you were able to get this at the time of release. And in the next episode, I'm going to be checking out EVA's last stand. As always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain, and I want to thank, in particular, my patrons. You can support me on Patreon. Link in the description below for $3 or more per month. And that really does help this channel continue into the glory glorious glor glorified i did this in another video the glorious uh, future the glorious future of the domain shout out to y'all you stay awesome you stay safe the odst ambush is signing off